first of all evening star formation this kind of formation is often seen before a crash is uh, impending evening star formation the pattern was seen after an uptrend so we may expect that an impending sell is so we have an impending sell you can see how to trade this pattern let me take a short position sell trade as soon as the evening star pattern formation is complete i will enter a sell trade i will take my sl and keep the sl 2 3 pips above the this doji evening star so it's a doji evening star i'll keep one or two pips above okay now how much is my risk guys it's like uh, 200 pips right so at least my tp should be 400 pips 1696 i think i i will at least have a one is to two risk to reward ratio okay let's see evening star pattern formation soon after a significant uptrend let's see one by one everything okay so i have entered a sell trade one is to two it took few days time my trade is still going on and bam my tp got hit okay so you just see how many trade we will win while this uh, these things were going on by the way we have uh, another evening star pattern so another second trade can be taken as well let me show you few pips above two three pips above you can see guys uh, why i'm uh, talking about these two three pips let me show you one thing one thing you will see you know so many people uh, will place their sl just at this this point or one or one pip let's say above this you see we have a wick that have eaten the sl which were pending above the above two three pips above this doji candle so this is most often uh, this kind of things happen because institutions can smell they can see your trades we do not have much data about them but they have uh, every data with them to find out where the retail traders are placing their sl so few retail traders will place their sl either here or here and you can see after a uh, few candles one big candle form and eaten away the sl so you have to make sure that even though your position size is reducing even though your uh, risk to reward ratio you have to enhance but you have to keep your sl bit away from the general public okay so let's widen our sl now let me take one is to two now i'm risking how much i'm risking like 190 pips so i will take the tps 380 pips so one is to two one is to two one is to two one is to two so another trade in rkt another win okay now i let me just reduce it while all this was going on and i am a tws student i saw the formation of a shooting star and this kangaroo tail will i enter the trade all of a sudden no why the reason being because the kangaroo tail form that's a real cool thing but just a second just a second if i were you i won't trade all of a sudden i tell you the reason why you see there was an uptrend right the horse was running like crazy got tired is now resting is now resting but the closing price of this kangaroo tail this shooting star or whatever you call it inverted hammer or whatsoever name doesn't matter it's all about making money okay this happened inside the consolidation zone so what confirmation now i need is i want the prices to close outside the consolidation zone as well for me to enter my sell trade so let me wait for the future price action so here i can see that the price basically closed outside the consolidation zone but let me just tweak the consolidation zone to have more confirmation now let me see no it could not close outside why because i have tweaked the consolidation zone and i am still of the view that the prices are still lying inside the consolidation zone so no i won't take another trade so guys just remember we have been like 380 pips here and i think uh, 400 pips here okay so that's like uh, someone do the calculation please for me so that i my time can be saved so we have like uh, 400 pips from this trade and 380 from this uh, trade so we have like 780 pips okay just let me wait a bit more and here here the price actually closed outside the consolidation zone and i have my kangaroo tail as well not mine it's a kangaroo tail <laughs> okay now i can enter a short trade because there are two things got activated once one thing is that we had a kangaroo tail second thing is that we have a range breakdown but is this range breakdown is very powerful let me ask you tell me in yes or no does this range breakdown seems uh, very powerful or seems weak everyone tell me correct helena correct sanad bharati is correct hafiz correct shas correct may i know the reason why it's weak why we are not too crazy about a sell trade i'm entering a sell trade i'm entering yes i'm entering but it's really not a very powerful but i want to know why small candle rejection 
from downside yes rejection from the downside and you see the structure of the candle you just see the structure of the candle do you think it's a powerful sell candle if it were a powerful sell candle what is the characteristic of a powerful sell candle everyone tell me how to know powerful long sell? body long body and small week correct but one more point small is there week. nitin one more point is there i'll tell you just let's small, small small week with long body okay full body small week correct one more thing is there hafiz and nitin i'm waiting anyone to tell that long body lower highs higher low okay cool small wick good that point is covered exactly helena is correct very good helena guys it really 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 matters where the close price is compared to the low of the candle the more the low and close is near to each other the more a bigger crash will be seen so you can see that uh, it's a type of a it's a very strange candle basically not a complete doji not a full sell candle but anyways i'm entering my sell trade what i'm doing guys is that i'm just uh, i'm keeping my sl bit wide this is the candle two three pips here okay now let me uh, try 1.5 in this trade i'm not very sure of uh, one is to two okay though i suggest if you were at my place you should avoid this trade okay you should avoid this trade so 1.5 i'll take 1.5 i'm not taking two okay let's be very realistic let's consider it as a as a recent price action <clears throat> okay so this trade also we have one how many pips we got uh 25 and 12 370 can someone please add 370 in the previous 780 i think we have one like 1000 pips by now okay now next thing another trade i i will also keep telling you the logic of me uh considering them as a trade i will also tell you guys what particular strategy of tws course is being activated okay just a second so significant downtrend is going on okay then all of a sudden we saw this kind of a profit booking candle or a pause candle you can say a pause a small break before the next leg of move start another small doji candle another small doji candle okay now one thing is very clear to me that the after a huge crash it's a huge crash if you see in terms of the dollars we have made it's really a huge crash okay it's a four hour time frame not a five minutes so you can see that a consolidation is going on so make a box of consolidation this is what i do so i'll tell you every single thing how i look at things now my question to all of you is what will be my next course of action am i going to take a sell trade or am i going to take a buy trade everyone tell me sell or buy yes shaz exactly that's what i said you should have avoided that trade may i know anyone should i buy now or i sell now guys uh, make sure you are not saying nitin. buy because you have already seen the future candles <laughs> nothing yes nitin wait wait for price reaction price reaction sir uh okay what exactly price should act for me to act uh so breakout sir we have to see the breakout candle where the candle is moving on uh, either upside or downside then only we can decide where, which side we have to go perfect exactly so nitin has said it absolutely correct guys consolidation is not in your hand consolidation is not in my hand what is happening basically the institutions are placing so small orders that they do not get caught right handed that what kind of uh, position they are creating now uh, you guys may have seen my recent youtube video i said that our problem is lack of money their problem is lot of money when we take a trade we want everyone to know that we have taken a trade right <laughs> but when they take a trade they try their best that no one will ever know that they are placing trade so they are placing their orders do siddhant goswami know that they are placing buy or sell no way none of uh, retail trader know uh, actually what they are doing even if you place a volume profile market profile you cannot say with certainty that you may find that they are placing order but whether they are placing a buy order or sell order not even the volume profile indicator can tell you you only know that they are doing something but are they selling are they buying we don't know 
you are TWS student. I have already told you the concept of uh, the pressure build up during the ranges and the bust of that pressure to the one side. Which side? Whatever side. We are here to make money. Whatever side. Nitin has said it correctly. We will wait for the price action. Price has to act in terms of breakout or the breakdown, either to break out to the upside or to the breakdown. So we as TWS students, we are waiting for the price action to complete. Bam, you see this candle. Now I ask question to all of you. Were institutions placing the buy orders or were institutions placing the sell order in gold after this candle formation? I think uh, people who are more scared of me are Kurban and Ijaz. <laughs> more than institutions. <laughs> So guys, what do you think institutions were doing? Buying, exactly. Correct, Malay, very good. They were buying. If they were not buying, this kind of a very big range, a strong bull candle, close price is absolutely the same as the high of the candle. Just let us check the high and close of this candle. So high of this candle is 1712.46 not or zero, whatever you guys say. Some people call it not, I think, in Western countries. And uh, the close of this candle is 1712.026. So almost the same, the same concept that Helena said. That really, really matters. Always remember, I always look at this thing, how equal is uh, high and close for long trade and, uh, high, and how much the close price and the low of the candle is equal to each other. If there is pressure from the opposite side, I kind of avoid, I kind of avoid that. Okay, my question is, my question now is, what you guys will do in gold now, soon after this candle? A good retracement and then buy. Nitin, what if there is no retracement after this kind of candle? Often retracement is very small. I'm not, I, I'm not sure, I've not seen the future candle, I do not remember it. <laughs> I also. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, <laughs> what to do? Buy. One thing is very no, sir, sure. Directly do. Yeah, directly we can go. Nitin, one thing is very sure. We have to buy. There is no way we sell because after consolidation, it should have break down, but it has shown a breakout with such a huge candle. It means in the days to come, in the weeks to come, the gold will go up. That is my assumption. I may be, I may be wrong. So let's check. Just see, guys. As said. What happened to the gold after this kind of big candle? Who remembers my institutional candle concept? Let's try it. This webinar is going to be very important. I want all of you to at least watch once more. Okay. I'm very sure you are loving this webinar and I'm very glad that. Uh... Okay. So I'll place the SL in the mid of the consolidation zone. I said in the YouTube video that a uh, few pips below. So we are few pips below and we are also in the mid of the consolidation zone. And I'm setting my TP as uh, one is because uh, I don't know how many pips, thousand, two thousand, five thousand. I do not know how much will go. I'm setting one is to two. Okay. I move forward and uh, I show you. Can someone uh, calculate the pips? How many pips we have taken? 580 pips. Can someone please add 580 to the calculation someone is doing that okay so let's move forward and let, let's see how many of uh, TWS strategies are now activating okay let's move forward in time here we got our one is to two already yeah not yet so trade is going on just let it run okay now another sell trade got activated with the trend line breakdown method the strategy which uh, all of you already know so we have entered a trade we will keep our SL few pips above the wick of the breakdown candle and you all know that most of the time at least 70 percent of the time after a breakdown of the trend line there is a retesting if the trend is strong there is no retesting and sudden crash bam very big crash is often seen okay so this is how you can uh, set up trend line breakdown strategy got activated here i'm sure you guys can see the things clearly i just don't want to remove this previous trade now okay and uh, let me just place a risk to reward ratio of one is to one. Uh, why I'm saying one is to one? Because guys, the gold is in a strong uptrend. You have to also keep eyes on a bigger time frame as well. The gold is running in a very strong uptrend. So we have to make sure that in a sell trade, we do not go for one is to two. So if you place one is to two, it may not hit. I don't know. I have not seen the future yet. So let's let's check it. Let's see. One is to two won't work. One is to one. One is to one point five is okay. See, because uh, the overall major trend with gold is uh, 
uptrend. So you cannot just go for one is to two. Okay. So you see, so we got how many pips here? Just let me check. 120 pips. Can someone please add 120 pips? Guys, uh, if someone is doing that for me, let me know. Or else I will, uh, I will not be knowing how many pips we got. Okay, Helena, you're doing it. Thank you so much, Helena. I think Shah is also doing it. Uh, okay, uh, let's move forward in time. Let's move forward in time. Another strategy of uh, TWS is activating here. This is really important because uh, see, I have uh, taught you everything in the course, but this is the first time I'm showing you the practical applications of what I have told you inside the course. So guys, this trade we will take. Who will tell me why I'm going to take this trade? Or whether the trade will be on buy side or sell side? Tell me everyone. Shaz, it's okay. Shaz, that is really important analyzing. That is what I want. This is my objective from this webinar. I'm happy that even if we are 20 people, uh, we are learning something. So trade will be on buy side or on the short side. And which strategy is being activated? Everyone. Shaz, uh, you're talking about price action only. Tell me the strategy. I will feel a bit happy. <laughs> if someone say uh, the name of a strategy. Trend line breakout method. Trend line breakout method, we got 120 pips. Trend line breakout method, we will again place uh, 1 is to 1.5 or 1 is to uh, 2, but I think 1 is to 1.5 is better. What else? What else? Nitin, go ahead. You tell me. Bullish engulfing. Okay. What else? Trend line breakout method. Yes. Sun Bharti, very good. Okay, guys. So there are two things. Other than that, there is third thing as well, which is I'm going to tell you first time. I think I told you, but not most of you know it. Okay, guys. So I'm going to place my buy order. Everyone be ready for the buy order. The price is closed here, okay? And I'm seeing a bit of selling pressure coming in, yet I will enter because my risk is very small in this trade. So the lowest low of these two candles, okay? The lowest low of these two candles, this one, I'll keep two, three pips below, okay? And I'll set my risk to reward ratio as one is to 1.5. I can set one is to 1.2 as well, but let's go for the safer side. Okay, Let, let's move forward. Now, why I'm taking this trade, I'm writing it down. Two PRC means two price rejection. I am a very huge fan of two PRC. This is one of my strategy, which uh, you guys don't know yet. So guys, uh, this is my thought process. Bullish engulfing, two candle strategies, two price rejections. I'll show you what is two price rejections. Two price rejections, same direction. Same direction, two price rejections. E equal bottom, how many of you remember my strategy of binary options? Equal bottom. Bullish engulfing, you will take four R binary options, cold trade. Binary.com you can use or race option. They allow you a very large binary expiration, ITN. Okay. Anyways, back to the Forex. Back to the Forex. Uh, I think uh, one is to two would be better because you see one, two, three, four, five, five uh, uh, confirmations I have. So one is to two is better. Just let me know in the comment section if you are liking this webinar so that I feel motivated. Guys, bam, TP is hit, TP is hit. Uh, just tell me one thing, how many of you have seen me looking at uh, Three Bull News business channel? Am I looking at any of the Three Bull News or business channel? I'm telling you guys, uh, just master technical analysis. You do not even need to know the news. The news confuses you. You tell me my person are sitting in the board of directors of a news agency. Will I ever show anything bad about my company's stock? Will I ever tell normal people anything that can make money for the normal people? I am doing trading. Trading is a zero sum game for normal people to win. I have to lose my money. And I am, I am the one who controls the news channel. My millions of dollars of bribe goes to them to talk lie to talk the total opposite of what will happen in the price action. I am manipulating people and fooling people because it's a zero sum game. Never ever look at news channel, never ever. If you do that, you will always be so confused and uh, you, will, you will quit on trading. You will quit on trading if you continue to trade based on news channels. Uh, just these uh, prices, okay? You spend all your time watching the news. Guys, just give me 10 more minutes. I will finish the webinar. Just uh, 10 more minutes. Thank you, these 20 people, including me. I'm really happy for you guys are still here with me. You know what I want from all of you guys? I am very close to the students, especially those who are active, respect me, uh, love me, I like Hafiz, 
Helena, Shaz, uh, all of you who are always on my side, always take my side. My, see, I do not charge you anything else, nothing else. You only join my course. In fact, some of you I help for free. Some of you I give discount. Anyways, my purpose with all of you is that if you, all of you succeed in life financially, so I will feel that uh, I have really done something for you guys. I will be very, very happy with that. See, as far as money is concerned, uh, in the background, I am making few things. I can just connect my ten twenty thousand dollar account with it, and I can simply make money. I really do not need to invest too much time in teaching or any kind of thing like YouTube. But I do it because my real objective is to help people. It's not like uh, just give me fifty dollar and <laughs> I myself don't know anything and <laughs> all those stuff, you know. See, if we are charging something because we think that uh, I can filter the committed people from the interested people, that is a separate thing, right? So that is my objective. Anyways, let's move forward. Helena, have you added the 280 pips of the recent trade? Shall we proceed? Let's see more strategies. Okay, let's go ahead, guys. Let's go ahead. Let me see what more is working here, okay? One more trade is forming, but I suggest you guys don't take this trade and we are not going to... Um, we are not going to count this trade. So guys, this is the high of uh, this big candle, right? Just a second. Mark the support area. This can act as my support area. I just don't want you guys to take this trade. Fake breakout, one is to one risk to reward ratio. Now I will also surpass this trade. The reason being the risk to reward ratio is very poor. You see, just a 0 0.64 with the fake breakout strategy. Should we go with this trade? No, we have to pass this trade, okay? Just let's move forward. Imagine how uh, good that would be if I become a millionaire and some of you with the hard work and commitment also become millionaire. And if you do not become millionaire, see, uh, success is a relative thing. For some of you being a millionaire is not a success. For some of you making few thousand dollars per month is success. So I just want all of us to become successful in life and that's it. I want all of you to watch my video on YouTube channel. This is guys really important video I'm telling you, really important. If you invest that 30 minutes on my YouTube channel, you won't feel like your time is wasted. The same way your time is not being wasted now. Okay, just let, let's move forward. So fake breakout, we will skip this trade. I did not like this trade at all. Also, there may be many factors. I have to see whether this was really a resistance area. Also guys, this does not seem to be a proper resistance area. So totally we will surpass this trade. Okay, let's move forward. And I'm also going to share one of my knowledge with you which is a brand name. Start counting the price rejection below this SR, 17.68. First price rejection, second price rejection, third price rejection, fourth price rejection, fifth price rejections. Guys, five PRC. With two PRC, with two PRC, I take a trade. Imagine five PRC. Will I take a buy trade? 100% yes. And where I will keep my SL below the lowest low. So this is the lowest low just below it. So let me enter this trade long position. And when I will take this trade, I'll tell you every single thing. Just mark the consolidation area. Let's change the color to orange. So this is the consolidation area, right? We have to wait for the consolidation area to break. We have multiple one, two, three, four, five price rejection below the consolidation area. Let's enter the long position as soon as the green candle closes itself. This is the lowest low, just one or two pips below the lowest low. Okay. And since gold is in a uptrend on a higher time frame, let me keep the risk to reward ratio as 1.5. It may hit 1.2, but I will keep 1.5. Okay. The reason being we will face a resistance here. You see, price test rejected, price test rejected, breakout, Price close above the breakout candle, two breakout. This is a two breakout candle. Another buy trade can be taken here anyways. Anyways, we are not talking about this trade for now. We have taken a buy trade. Let me write down the reason why I have taken the buy trade. Five PRC and I am someone who enters the trade with two PRC like this one also, but I am not counting that. Five PRC plus range breakout method plus institutional buying C, C, okay, plus strong bullish candle, engulfing 
engulfing one, two, three, four, five, six. Engulfing radius six candles. Radius six candles. Okay, let's go. Let's go, guys. So the trade is still going on. We have not yet hit RSL, and we have not uh, yet uh, touched RTP. But if you keep this is to reward ratio as one is to one, so this trade is also a win. But let's assume it as a one point five risk to reward ratio because we traded based on price action and uh, TWS strategies. And future is not in our control. We can only predict it. We cannot control it. Okay. it's in control of top 10 institutions not in our control so let the trade go on now whether it hits uh, the sl or whether it hits the tp if you are a conservative uh, trader what you can do is that you can start uh, trailing your sl just a second you can start trailing your sl once the price shows the breakout and then a true breakout which is also one of our tws style of entering the breakout then you can trail your sl then you can trail your sl to the low now it has become a risk free trade you can see now you can let this trade going on it has become a risk free trade or if you are a conservative trader just trail your sl for example this is a two breakout candle so you can move your sl here so we are like uh, running i think 17 78 to 1782 to 40 pips of profit but there are some manipulating brokers if you bring it here and if the candle has made a low of 1783.450 they are weak they are weak will make sure that your trailing get hits they will weak will make sure that your trailing gets hit we have made how many pips uh, helena Uh, two thousand one hundred and thirty pips. So, if you have a very big uh, forex account, let's say ten thousand, twenty thousand, fifty thousand dollar, so you would have made like twenty one thousand three hundred dollars without uh, looking at any news, just using the TWS strategies and uh, concept. If you were trading with a zero point one zero lot on your two thousand dollar or let's say a thousand dollar account, you would have made like. How much? Two thousand one hundred and thirty dollars with just manual trading like this. If you have a small account and trading with the zero point zero one load, that corresponds to two hundred and thirteen dollars. So if you have a small account like two hundred dollars, so your money almost got doubled. Okay. So I hope you like this uh, webinar.